Hello, and welcome to the Inspiring ECE Podcast. I'm your host, Marcy Nicole. Thank you so much for joining me on today's podcast. We're about to talk about some exciting stuff on today's episode. So let's get started. Hello, and welcome to the Inspiring ECE Podcast. I'm your host, Marcy Nicole. And before we get into today's topic, I have a question for you. What's an early childhood educator? Hmm, I know. For people that have been in the field, that's easy. For others, that might not be so easy. Today's episode, we're going to talk about what is an early childhood educator and maybe have a little bit about the misconceptions around the profession. I want to take this time to thank you for joining me on today's episode. And we're going to have a fabulous conversation about early childhood education. I have a quick story that I want to share with you. I remember early on in my career, I was sitting on the carpet, engaging the children in songs, and we were reading a story together when I glanced over by the door and a parent was just observing my interactions with the children. I continued on and I finished up and then I went over to the parent and I greeted them and asked them how their day was, just as a professional would. And the response I got was, it must be so nice to be able to play all day and not really do any work. In that moment, I was a little bit crushed and taken back by the comment. I was so proud of myself because I kept my professional composure. And my response was, I really enjoy spending time and educating children. Now that I have time to reflect on that interaction with a parent, I understand that they just didn't understand what we do as early childhood educators. And it wasn't their fault for having that misunderstanding that all I do was play all day. But I also took that into reflective practice and made it a point to share with the community exactly what was going on in my classroom. There wasn't much more questions after that when it came to newsletter and documentation and a whole bunch of other things. I know for all some of you educators out there brand new to the field, that would have been a difficult situation. It absolutely was. And it's even harder to find that intrinsic motivation to keep your professionalism in that moment. But I know you can and you will. And then you reflect back on it and just realize we're just going to share our knowledge about exactly what we do as early childhood educators. Here's the thing. When we hear early childhood educator, some of us think glorified babysitter. That's not the truth. And let me tell you, I don't want to put down any other profession. There is nothing wrong with being a babysitter. That's okay. But an early childhood educator is not that. So let's talk about what an early childhood educator is. They are a trained professional when it comes to child development, discovery through play. Let's talk about that. These professionals are trained to see the learning through a child's play and development. They help mold and develop young minds through real life experiences and play. They help to foster and regulate their emotions as well as their development and growth. That's what we do. It's a profession. To others, it's a misconception that all we do all day is play. But there is learning behind that play. And early childhood educators are trained to see that learning through play. I've been in the profession for many years. And it has many levels. What we need to talk about is the mis- conceptions or what's misunderstood and why early childhood educators feel like they're unvalued and what we need to do. So the government doesn't always portray our profession in the ideal limelight. They don't respect or recognize our profession as teaching. Newsflash, we are educators, we are teachers, and we care for children. Should I repeat that one more time? We are teachers, we are educators, and we care for children. That is the foundation of our profession. Early childhood educators also experience extremely low wages, and therefore other members of society don't see our profession as being important. And 
we definitely don't have enough support when it comes to funding what we need to keep growing in our professional development, as well as to support the child cares that we need to provide the children the best care possible. We are not babysitters. We are trained individuals. But this is the part that gets me. And please let me know if you can relate. When you hear that early childhood educators are not educated or qualified, I'm excuse me. Yes, we are. I have a diploma, which I am extremely proud to have, which gave me my foundation in learning when it comes to child development and exploration and play. I also have a degree and a master's degree in a profession I love, why I wanted to expand my learning. So the misconception that early childhood educators do not have an education, that's just simply not the truth. And we need to start recognizing that. So for all my fellow educators out there, and to all those that don't know and want to know more about early childhood education and educators, We welcome you to ask those questions. Why do you do what you do? Do you absolutely love it? Yes, we do. Even with all these misconceptions and these conforms from society, we still love it. Do we struggle? Yes, it's a struggle. But that is why the Inspiring Early Childhood Educator podcast is here for you. We are going to advocate for change. We are going to establish a voice in the teaching and education communities. That's our goal, because what we do matters. In this community, you will feel supported and recognized for the work that you do. And you are extremely important and foundational in the community and society. Early childhood educators, other professions, can't do their jobs without you. And that's just a fact. So right here on this podcast, I want you to know I am on this journey with you each week. You are going to feel supported. You are going to feel like you are a member of a community where you can share your thoughts and ideas without judgment. And most of all, I'm going to be here. This is where you can find me. So all you're going to have to do is put me in your ears every week. That could be on your way to work. That could be while you walk the dog. That could be while you folding the laundry, doing whatever it is you need to do. But take that time to pour into you because I will be here with you. I also really want to thank everyone for coming and listening to this podcast. We are only at the beginning of this wonderful journey together and building this fantastic community. This is going to be a phenomenal journey. And I can't wait to be on it with all of you. Thank you for joining me on today's podcast. I'm your host, Marcy Nicole. Thank you so much for joining us on today's episode of the Inspiring ECE podcast. This was a blast. If you don't want to miss any future episodes, please don't forget to subscribe. Check us out on socials on Ispire to Educate. Until next time, bye for now.